I believe technology is a driving force that leads to major advancements in civilization. When it comes to the growth of Tesla vehicles, I previously said we might achieve around 50%, but we've already reached 80%. Some of these advancements even exceeded what we had expected, and it's likely that even more will surpass our initial projections. What's fascinating is that these predictions often come to fruition. It's quite rare for them to not turn out as expected. New technology, new breakthroughs, and a new era in automotive innovation have arrived. Elon Musk has recently unveiled Tesla's most ambitious innovation yet, the water engine. But the burning question is, will it really work? Is this the future of clean energy, or is it just another idea that has been overhyped? Will this engine be able to handle extreme conditions? And can it outpace electric vehicles, EVs, and gasoline-pound cars in terms of performance? Let's dive into these questions and explore the potential of Tesla's water engine. Stay with us, because this is just the beginning. Don't forget to subscribe now and join us on this journey of revolution. Become part of the 1,400 strong community of subscribers and keep ahead of the game as we uncover the truth behind Tesla's water engine. Tesla's water engine promises to provide a cleaner and more sustainable alternative to traditional combustion engines and battery electric vehicles. However, one of the biggest hurdles it faces is ensuring its durability in real-world scenarios, especially under extreme weather conditions. In places like Norway, Yakutsk, and Canada where temperatures can drop to as low as 40 DHC or even lower, the operational risks for any vehicle can be significant. Since water freezes at 0 DC 32 DFC, maintaining a steady flow of it in a vehicle's fuel system without the formation of ice is a considerable engineering challenge. So how exactly does Tesla plan to tackle this problem? Let's take a look at the freezing risk and potential component damage. When it comes to using water as a fuel source, one of the main concerns is that when it freezes, it expands by around 9%. This expansion can cause serious damage to vehicle components. Pipes, storage tanks, and fuel cells might crack or rupture due to the pressure created by ice forming, this issue isn't limited to water-powered systems. Traditional gasoline and diesel vehicles are also susceptible to freezing. They rely on winterized fuel blends to prevent freezing, while electric vehicles, EVs, have battery heating systems that maintain efficiency in colder temperatures. Without an advanced heating mechanism, a Tesla water engine could face catastrophic failures in sub-zero environments. In fact, research shows that EVs already face significant range loss in cold conditions. Tesla's batteries can lose as much as 40% of their range when temperatures drop below 0.6 DC. On top of that, Tesla's superchargers can experience slower charging speeds in winter, making long-distance trips more challenging. To address these challenges, Tesla plans to implement a sophisticated heating system, similar to the ones used in hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Toyota Mirai and Hyundai Nexo. These vehicles use insulated and heated storage tanks to keep hydrogen in a gaseous state, even in extremely cold weather. However, heating a large volume of water is more energy intensive than heating a small hydrogen tank, and this raises concerns about the overall efficiency of the system. How much power would Tesla need to maintain the water in a liquid state, and could this negate the benefits of a water engine? Another possible solution could be to use de-icing additives to lower the freezing point of water, but this introduces new challenges. These additives must be safe for long-term engine operation, non-corrosive to the internal components, and widely available for refueling stations. If Tesla were to rely on a proprietary mixture of additives, it could create supply chain and cost issues reducing the accessibility of the technology. Additionally, drivers in remote areas might have trouble finding refueling stations that stock the required additives, limiting the practical use of the engine in those locations. The next hurdle is the challenge of using distilled water. Unlike gasoline or hydrogen, which are refined and supplied under strict quality controls, water can vary widely in composition. Natural water sources often contain impurities like minerals, sediments, dissolved salts, and even biological contaminants. These impurities could cause corrosion in metal components, clog filters, and damage sensitive fuel cell membranes, ultimately reducing the engine's efficiency and lifespan. If Tesla's water engine requires distilled water, this would present a series of logistical challenges. Access to distilled water is limited, especially in remote areas or developing regions, where high-purity water may not be easily available. 
This raises the question of whether Tesla can develop a system that allows drivers to use regular tap water or even rainwater instead of expensive distilled water. The main issue with unfiltered water is the presence of hard minerals like calcium, which can cause scale buildup, similar to the way minerals accumulate in household kettles and water heaters. In order to make this work, Tesla would need to incorporate a high-efficiency water filtration and purification system directly into the vehicle. One approach could involve using reverse osmosis RO filters combined with activated carbon filtration to ensure near distilled water purity. However, these systems typically require high water pressure and substantial energy to operate, potentially affecting the efficiency of the water engine. Another possibility could be the use of self-cleaning filters made from nanomaterials or graphene-based technologies, which could offer improved performance while minimizing the need for maintenance. Alternatively, Tesla could explore an automatic desalination and deionization process that removes salts and minerals from tap water before it enters the engine system. This could involve using ion exchange resins, similar to those found in home water softeners, to eliminate unwanted minerals and reduce the risk of damage to the fuel cells. However, this method may require regular maintenance and could incur additional costs. A more advanced solution might involve a self-regenerating water purification system that uses electrolytic purification to remove impurities. This would allow the car to filter and recycle water internally, reducing the need for frequent refueling. Such a system would boost the engine's efficiency while ensuring the quality of the water, but it would need to be designed with minimal energy consumption in order to remain practical. If these onboard filtration systems prove too complicated or expensive, Tesla might need to develop a network of prepackaged water refueling stations similar to how hydrogen refueling stations provide clean, pressurized hydrogen for fuel cell vehicles. These stations could offer high-purity water refills at designated locations, and a subscription model could help regulate costs and availability. This would ensure that drivers always have access to the clean water they need to power their vehicles. The success of Tesla's water engine isn't just dependent on technological breakthroughs, it will also require the development of the infrastructure necessary to support it. Unlike gasoline or electric charging stations, a water refueling network would have to account for freezing risks, storage logistics and operational efficiency in extreme climates. If not properly managed, these factors could drive up costs, limit accessibility, and slow down the adoption of the technology. Tesla would need to create heated storage tanks insulated pipelines, and automated de-acing mechanisms to ensure water stays in liquid form at all times. These innovations would likely increase the construction costs of refueling stations and require more energy to operate, which could make water fueling less cost-effective compared to traditional fuels. The infrastructure for water refueling stations would also be a massive undertaking. Tesla's supercharger network currently has more than 50,000 charging stations globally, but adding water refueling stations would require an entirely different type of infrastructure. Water refueling stations would need to be equipped with on-site filtration systems to ensure the purity of the water, which would drive up operational costs. Additionally, unlike electricity which can be delivered through existing power grids, water would need to be trucked, piped, or collected from local sources adding logistical complexity. The estimated cost of building a hydrogen refueling station is around $1.50 to $2 million per location, and constructing a water refueling station with additional heating and filtration requirements could be even more expensive. However, a potential solution could involve integrating water refueling into Tesla's existing supercharger stations. If Tesla can retrofit its charging stations to include water purification and heated storage tanks, it could reduce the costs associated with building a separate refueling infrastructure. Do you think Tesla will succeed in realizing this water engine? Let us know your thoughts and share your beliefs in the comments section. Why do you think this is such a game changer? A water-powered engine could significantly reduce environmental impact by eliminating tailpipe emissions and improving urban air quality. Unlike gasoline and diesel vehicles which emit over 4.6 metric tons of CO2 per year, a water engine would only release water vapor, cutting greenhouse gas emissions to nearly zero. This could help cities meet air quality guidelines by reducing particulate matter, P2, 
PM2.5 and nitrogen oxides, NOx, both of which contribute to respiratory diseases and smog. Furthermore, shifting from fossil fuels to water as a fuel source would reduce the need for oil extraction, refining, and transportation, which together account for about 12% of global CO2 emissions. If the water engine is powered by renewable energy for electrolysis, its carbon footprint could be reduced even further, making it a more sustainable alternative to gasoline and even to some battery electric vehicles that rely on mining intensive lithium-ion batteries. A water-powered engine presents unique safety advantages compared to traditional combustion and electric engines. The fire risk is much lower because water is non-flammable, unlike gasoline, which has a flash point of 43 dashi, 45 degree F, or lithium-ion in batteries that can experience thermal runaway at temperatures above 150 dashi, 302 dec. Additionally, it produces no toxic emissions, avoiding hazards such as carbon monoxide poisoning from combustion engines. The potential cost savings are another major advantage. If Tesla system uses distilled or deionized water, the cost could be as low as $1 to $2 per gallon, which is comparable to low-end gasoline, but much cheaper than premium fuels. Moreover, water is abundant and not subject to the same supply chain disruptions as gasoline, which is affected by geopolitical and market conditions. However, if the engine uses electrolysis to extract hydrogen, electricity costs will need to be considered. Battery electric vehicles typically convert about 90% of electrical energy into motion, while hydrogen fuel cells operate at around 60% efficiency due to conversion losses. If Tesla's water engine can achieve an efficiency rate above 70%, it would represent a major breakthrough, making water-based propulsion a more viable alternative to hydrogen-powered vehicles. Tesla's water engine has the potential to be a game-changer, transforming the way we think about sustainable transportation. But will it live up to the hype? Can it truly outperform gasoline and electric vehicles while overcoming challenges like freezing temperatures, infrastructure, and efficiency? Only time will tell. One thing is certain, innovation never stops, and Tesla continues to push the boundaries of what is possible. Stay ahead of the curve by subscribing to Autofusion now and be part of the revolution.